Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I'm glad you're joining me today and I hope that what I'm sharing is going to be something that you'll be able to use for yourself or to make for a party or for your children. But I saw where one of my friends, well, my daughter's friends, Nadia, had made these when her daughter came home from college. And I looked up the recipe and I thought, I have got to do this. They're called cheeseburger sliders. And you just take a pound of at least 90% lean ground beef. And this is 93% lean. And we're going to put this in a bowl. And to that... We're going to add an eighth of a cup of breadcrumbs. And I've measured that out. And a fourth of a cup of chopped onion. And I used my chopper. And those of you who want to know where you can get one, go to my website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com and look under my favorite things and there's one there and I'm going to tell you this is so neat for not having to chop things up. Then it just calls for a pinch of salt. So I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to get out some and just do a pinch and then just a couple of shakes of Worcestershire sauce. All right. <clears throat> That's all that you do right now. And I'm just going to mix all of this up. Now you can use the seasoned breadcrumbs or the plain. And I used the plain because that's what I had. And I think when I chopped the onion, it was a little bit, let me pull my rings off. I think it was a little bit more than a fourth of a cup. So I'm not going to try to get every one of those in there because I know that I did get more than, got closer to a half a cup. Of course, you know onions make it better. But, what, I, what we're going to do now is you're going to take an 8 by 8 dish. And I didn't spray this because there's going to be grease that's going to come out of this. But what you're doing is you're going to take your hands and you're going to mash this until it's about the same thickness all over. And you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And I have done that. Harold, can you give me a fork, please? I, uh, the recipe that I saw said Take a fork, and you can see that it's about the same thickness. That was what I was supposed to do, and then, thank you, said to take a fork and just stick it throughout at various places. And then, we're going to cook this for 20 minutes on 400, and then... I'll be back and show you the next step. Okay, this cooked in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now, the recipe said that there would be some grease in the bottom and to just pour it out. And that's, let me get my pot holders. That's what I did. I poured it out and you see it shrunk like 
meat does. So now you're going to take some sliced cheese and you're going to put it on the sides. I thought I thought it, I would be able to just put the whole pieces, but I, I'm not. So I'm having to, to cut it a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. It's like a puzzle. All right, and I'm gonna stick this back in the oven for just maybe two minutes until it this cheese melts. Okay. Can you see? Let me put it in here and I'm just gonna set my timer for two minutes. Now I have got a package of the Hawaiian rolls and I'm not exactly sure how many that will make but I think it's going to make about maybe I don't know six or eight we'll see What I'm going to do is get my knife that serrated a little bit. These Raider knives, this is the tomato knife. Y'all, they're the best. And, and if you don't have them, you can go to my site and order them because they're sharp, they're perfect for what a, a tomato knife. And then my paring knife is just as good, but you really need to open these rolls up. You need one that is the serrated. Okay. I'm going to put that right there for now. Get my hot pad out. The cheese is, is almost melted. And then I'm just going to cut it in about an inch and a half square so it would fit this. Okay. All right, let's see. We want them. That little spatula that's right there. gonna be perfect. It's so hot I now. Okay. That little uh that mm -hmm. thank you. Alright. Gonna do nine. I think that's what Harold had told me it would do. Y'all. Yeah. 
it's hot 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 okay I'll do this last one in just a minute but I want to show you what I'm going to do I have some ketchup make sure it's okay put my ketchup and if you want mustard, you can put mustard. I'm going to put some mustard on a couple, but I don't want mustard on mine. Okay. These would be perfect for ball game days. Someone had said, what, um, would you give us some ideas on things that we can make while we're watching ball games or what? But that is absolutely perfect. If you wanted to add a little onion or if you wanted to add a dill pickle or, or what, but these are cheeseburger sliders. Perfect. Hope you've enjoyed watching this because they're so easy to do and I know they're going to be good. The recipe will be on my, my uh, website, mamasusouthernkitchen.com and uh, I think you're going to like it. I hope that you'll know that I love you. I appreciate you following me more than you'll know. Thank you for sharing my page. But more than that, always be salt and light. Let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back soon.